Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the live chat. You're here with Kevin and TJ. We just got down the mountain. We were up riding today, having a blast. I was uh, on the first day riding uh, the Travis Rice Pro. It was super fun riding that board. TJ? Yeah, it was a rad day. It was a little bit cloudy and icy, but uh, I was on the Jones Mountain Twin. We both had magnet traction, pretty aggressive, kind of free ride leaning boards. So uh, it's still a lot of fun up there for sure. Yeah, so what's up guys? So thanks for joining us. Usually we do this at two. Um, I meant to put out um, yeah. a notification. I don't know if it went through, but yeah, we're doing it at 3.30. Uh, thank you guys all for tuning in. I hope this is a good time for you guys. We're watching all your comments come through, so thank you guys so much for commenting. If you guys have any questions, let us know. Uh, let us know where you're from as well. And yeah, seeing all you guys um, comment down there, it's great. Um, we got 51 likes on the channel. Thanks guys. Let's try to get that to up over 100. That would be dope And yeah, we're gonna be doing this for about an hour. So if you have any questions hit us up We're also doing this in Whistler Village in front of the Evolution Whistler board shop So if you guys are in town if you're in if you're in the village come on by uh, Say hi you can sit with us maybe answer some questions with us and um, yeah, just swing by and yeah. shout out to Evolution. They hooked us up with the demo boards today. It was very cool. Yes. Um, yeah, oh, here's a quick little question. Uh, Jamie McCaffrey asks, how did we meet? Yeah, that's, I feel like that question comes up uh, pretty often. Um, yeah, so basically uh, we have a close mutual friend, Garrett, who's in a lot of the yeah. videos. I think my favorite video Garrett did is a how to tail block, if you guys wanna check that out. But uh, yeah, me and Garrett uh, lived up here for a couple of summers many years ago and uh, just started riding with Kev. Garrett's known Kevin his uh, whole life, basically, um, or most of his life. And so Garrett kind of introduced us and we just started cruising and riding and became good friends. Yeah, and then TJ put out the idea to me of doing board reviews on the channel. And yeah. I was like, yeah, let's do it. Do some board reviews, man, and it's been, it's, Here we are. it's history. Yeah. Um, yeah, thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, hit us up. And then also, tell us where you're from. It's always great to hear where you guys are coming, uh, watching from. Yeah, one other thing, uh, this is a super chat, so if you have any important questions, you want to make sure you get it answered, you can make a small donation, help support the channel, help us out, and uh, it'll highlight your question to make sure that we get to it. So definitely appreciate that, guys. So Breck Horton asks, what boards are you riding? Uh, so today I was on the Travis Rice Pro Board, the 157. Uh, had a great time on it. We actually made a video about the board and it was incredible for the conditions today. It was kind of like icy, firm conditions and the Travis Rice held up really well. Yeah, and I was on the Jones Mountain Twin. Uh, so kind of kind of a similar vibe. They're both uh, twinish boards, um, but different camber profiles. Both have magnet traction. Uh, but yeah, like Kevin said, awesome for the conditions we had out there today. Yeah, awesome. And it, yeah, if you guys have a question that you absolutely need answering uh, within this hour time frame, you can hit us up with a super chat. Um, anything that you guys do with the super chat helps us to support the channel, helps us make videos. So yeah. That's a good option. Get your question answered in there um, fast. Yeah, definitely. Um, I saw somebody ask, uh, I, I missed that. I remember the question they asked, what's the best type of face mask? Um, mm. For myself, like, I'm really liking these balaclavas. This one's by Dekine. Um, it's a bit more of like a uh, colder temperature balaclava. And then I've also got a really thin sandbox one. I think TJ is gonna grab his. Yep. Uh, exactly right. I just hopped up to grab my balaclava. It's kind of uh, torn up. It's been been through a, a good bit, but uh, yep, just the balaclava face mask is my go-to as well. Um, you can easily, you know, pull it up, tuck it into your goggles, or pull it down below your mouth if you want to, you know, talk to your friends or eat some food or something. So, very functional. Yeah, and we got a two dollars super chat from Crunk Jack. Thanks for the two dollars, man. Really appreciate it. Helping to support the channel, Taco Fun. Let's go. Yeah. Um, so from Beaumont, Texas. Very cool, Crunk Jack from Beaumont, Texas. Lodging, yeah, hey. Texas. Lodging suggestions for Whistler. Um, well, that's a tough one. It's like so many different options out here. Uh, you know, the best is to stay in the village if you can. Uh, it's a bit more pricey, but the village is, you know, where it's at. There's so much going on down here in the village. 
and then you can just walk out, hop on uh, the gondola, it's super easy. Um, if you're looking for a, to be a bit more on a budget, you can also stay at some of the um, hostels. You stayed at a hostel last yeah, year? Yeah, so I was here in January and I stayed at Whistler Lodge Hostel over in Creekside. Highly recommended. It was very affordable. I think um, it was like 35 Canadian per night. Um, good yeah. amenities, great spot. Um, definitely would recommend checking that place out. Yeah, so you got, yeah, you got tons and tons of options out here. And then also if you want to save some money on uh, accommodation when you come to Whistler, is come um, when there's no holidays. So when there's no like an American um, holiday, that's like the best time. There's, there's sort of the, those in-between weeks that can be cheaper. Then we got another uh, super chat from Steve Brett, $5 Australian. Thanks, Steve. And he says, hey guys, awesome to see TJ in Whistler hey. and wishing Chris a fast recovery. Awesome, yeah, we'll definitely tell him, Steve. Also, could you give my mate Jaden Klingen a shout out? Love you guys. All right, shout out Jaden Klingen. Shout out, dude. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, thanks to the $5 Australian, Steve. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, and, t and Chris, We'll make an update video for you guys sometime soon. He's still got that uh, sore knee, so he's, um, yeah, he's, he's doing better. He's walking around, but yeah, it's one of those things that happens, and um, yeah, we're wishing Chris, uh, Chris a fast recovery. Absolutely, healing vibes for Chris. Hey, what's up, Henry? Oh, what's How's good? How's it going, man? Oh, yeah, we're <laughs> and we got, we got Henry here. What's good, guys? <laughs> Henry from Evolution, you guys might remind him from, uh, he was in a live chat a few weeks ago. He came and found us on the mountain. Yeah, uh, I was the one who showed up and did nose rolls. Yeah. Nice. Henry, tell everyone where you're from and wh why you came out to Whistler. Um, well, I grew up in New York. Um, I came out to Whistler because it's pretty much, like in North America, I feel like in America at least, there's a bunch of spots, you know, scattered all over. But as a Canadian citizen, Whistler is pretty much the mecca of snowboarding in in BC. Like if you're in a park, you can do it here. If you're in a backcountry, you can do it here. You can make yourself as like really any aspect of a snowboarder or any snowboard industry based thing here in Whistler. Yeah. It's sick. And Henry works at Evolution too. He's the, he's the dude that hooked us up with uh, the demos and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are in Whistler, come by, see Henry. And uh, yeah, he can help, help uh, set you guys up with some gear. Yeah, we, uh, also, if you follow Evolution and check our stories out, you'll often see my little shenanigans. So, uh, yeah, definitely check, give that a check out. Check out Evolution on Instagram, on Facebook, definitely, yeah. What's the Instagram handle is uh, what, Evolution Whistler? Evolution Whistler. Evolution yeah. Whistler on Instagram. Yeah, I'm actually just taking a photo of you guys right now to post on our Instagram. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, just trying to really capture the moment here. All right, so we got a good question for TJ from Becker Robin. What is your opinion on the yes typo? Oh man, uh, you know, you are not the first person to ask about that board. We actually, uh, I don't have a lot of experience with that board, unfortunately. Um, I wish I had a solid answer for you. Honestly, I'm, I'm not familiar with that board. I'm sorry, Becca. Okay, yeah. that's honest. I, I know a lot of boards, but I'm not just going to try to tell you about something I don't I don't know about well, so I'm sorry. All right, uh, zero 3 tips on doing my first tame dog. TJ is the man Ooh. for that one. <laughs> yeah, so we actually have a video on the channel, Learning How to Tame Dog, if you wanna check that out. Um, but the biggest thing I would say, if you can practice on a tramp, that's huge help, just getting familiar with that rotation, going straight over the nose. And uh, when you're on the snow, the biggest thing, uh, a few big things that helped me out was making sure you get a really good pop off the nose and straighten out that front leg to get that boost. Um, and then tuck and flip. Um, so, and you got to stay really committed to that. Uh, I don't have them down great yet, but I'm hoping to clean yeah. them up this year. Check out the video that TJ posted where he goes through all the steps of learning tame dogs. Yeah, solid video. And Ishmael uh, Gorshik, uh, one dollar super chat. Awesome, thanks Ishmael. Thanks man. Appreciate it. And yeah, just a reminder guys, we're in uh, Whistler Village in front of the Evolution Shop. So if you guys are in town, uh, just come on by, say hello, um, pop your head in, you can maybe answer a few questions with us. And yeah, it'd be cool to meet, meet some subscribers. On the last uh, Super Chat we did, we actually met a really cool dude named Kurt. Yeah. He came by and said hi. Um, yeah, and we're here, we're here until probably like 4.30, so get your questions in. Oh, I saw a good question right there um, for Morgan. 
Uh, Morgan Fischera, what goggles are you guys wearing? Um, so I am stoked. I finally got to test these out. Been wanting to for a long time. These are the uh, Oakley Flight Decks with the uh, Jade Prism lens uh, with the rose base. Nice. Yeah, and I'm wearing the Oakley Line Miners. And they just got the low light sort of like red pink lens in today and Hi. Prism lens. Hi. Hi. Hey. <laughs> and they're feeling good. Yeah. Really helped to see all the contours on a day like today where it was pretty like sort of cloudy up there. Yeah, Oakley is feeling good. So we got a $10 super chat chat from Henry Otto. Thanks, Henry. Yeah, thanks, Henry, man. Hello from Snoqualmie. Uh, that's in Washington. Yeah. You guys should come to the summit at Snoqualmie. Oh man, um, I actually had the chance to go there. I, I work with uh, Evo.com um, over in Denver and Evo's a rad company. They sent everyone out uh, to Snoqualmie this summer for a uh, retreat. Cool. So uh, I think it's a snowboard. I would definitely like to come back and do some riding, but it's a beautiful area. Um, yeah, Snoqualmie is rad. Yeah, thanks Henry. And if uh, we ever do make our way down to the summit at so Snoqualmie, we'll We'll let you guys know, give you like a good heads up, and it'd be great to do some laps. Shout out Sport RX, I see they're on the live chat here with us today. They hooked us up with these goggles, so yeah, huge shout out to them. Thank yeah. you guys. What's up, Brittany and Rob at Sport RX? Thank you guys. You guys are killing on the live chats on the channel as well. Um, Slade Bryant, five dollar super chat. Thanks, Slade. Kevin, uh, Kevin was thinking of picking up a Yes 420. Want something that's easy to turn quickly in the trees? do you recommend uh, yeah you absolutely man that's exactly why I bought it it was for the trees um, so it's short it's fat you can maneuver it very quickly it floats on top of that snow um, absolutely just like the perfect tree board so that's exactly why I bought it and it changed the way I ride trees for the better Definitely. so if you're if you're thinking about it just just go for it because uh, I don't know. I'm super happy with mine. Yeah, you'll be happy in the long run for sure. Yeah, and thanks to the five dollars slate. Really appreciate it, man. Uh, All right. Zachy, e., do you want to take this one, man? Sure. Yeah. So Zachy, e., ten dollars super chat. Thank you so much, man. Uh, hey guys, Zach from New Jersey. Um, any any advice uh, for going from a stiffer board to a park board? Just bought the Capita horoscope. Oh yeah, that's quite the jump. The horoscope is definitely really flexy. Um, I would say, you know, definitely feel it out. Um, do some presses, flat ground, feel out that flex, um, and then kind of take it easy um, and, and slowly progress and find the limits of the board. The horoscope is a board where you'll be able to find the limits of it. So yeah, um, yeah. Take, take that progression slowly so you don't get yourself in a situation where you're just completely overpowering the board and then you lose some control. I did sort of the opposite today, Zach. I went from my Solomon Huck knife, which is very soft, to the uh, T-Rise Pro, which is much stiffer. And the first two runs of the day was just a complete feeling out process, um, learning where the sweet... Hey, what's hey, up, man? What's How's up, it man? going? You want to be on the live stream? We're doing a live stream right now. Hey, what's so, up, man? Tell the people where you're from, dude. I'm Connor. I'm from Sydney, Australia. Sick, man. Sick, man. Oh, nice dude. to meet you guys. Good to meet you. I've been watching you for like a year now. Oh, sick. amazing. Thank and you. What else? You're just here for Appreciate the season? The I'm here for five more weeks. Oh, sick. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, I hope we get some snow while you're here, man. Yeah, yeah thanks for checking the channel. Have a good day. <laughs> See you, man. All right. That was cool. We got, we've, we've had a stop. We've had somebody stop in. All right. Uh, yeah, so Zach, uh, I was just saying that... Um, yeah, it was a, it was definitely a couple after, but after a couple runs of going from that super soft board to a really stiff, um, yeah, you definitely start to f feel out the board. And for myself, I by the third run, I was like, I felt like I had it dialed. So yeah, just give yourself a bit of time. Yeah, and so, yeah, thank you, Zach. And I heart um, new. I heart new. Ten dollars super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And she writes, <laughs> TJ, you're adorable. Aww. Chris, I hope your <laughs> knee starts to feel better soon. Kevin, love all the beginner videos. Uh, it, it definitely helps. Taco Fund, awesome. <laughs> Thank Hashtag you. Taco Fund. Thank you, I Heart New. That's yeah, that's really sweet. May TJ blush. Blush. We'll send your, you know, we'll send your well wishes for Chris on. And uh, yeah, happy to hear that the beginner videos are helping. We'll keep those video beginner videos coming for you. Hopefully, you can progress very fast. Yeah. All right, so. Uh, Aaron uh, Jewel. Oh man, we got ten dollars super chat. Super chats coming through. Yeah, thanks, Aaron. 
Um, hey guys, love the channel. I've been watching since the beginning. TJ, uh, I'll be in A Basin January 3rd. Any tips for hiking the peaks? Kevin, how are you liking the Gore-Tex pants the kind gave you? Uh, awesome. Yeah, Aaron, stoked you've been watching the channel for so long. Thanks for your support, man. So um, I actually will be around uh, January 3rd, so maybe we can get a lap in. Um, hit me up on Instagram or something. Kevin Snowboard Pro Camp, I'm Board Archive if you want to hit us up on Instagram. Um, but yeah, we haven't had a whole lot of snow, so the peaks are looking pretty bare right now. Um, all the east wall where you normally would hike those peaks is still closed. Um, I know we just got a little bit of snow, hoping we get a lot more soon and that'll open up. Um, but honestly, you'll just want to go all the way to the top, take Lenaway chair, and you can hike right up the ridge from there um, if you want to hit those chutes. Or you can even just traverse along the east wall and uh, hike up from the cat track. So Awesome. Yeah. Good and then there. Yeah, sure. uh, Aaron and the, yeah, the Gore-Tex has been great. Um, honestly, I've been like so dry. It's very light too, which I love. So it's like light, dry, comfortable. And then the bib, I think that my favorite thing about the bib is it's just like you feel so free. So definitely recommend Gore-Tex bibs. Wow, I think they're huge. Yeah. Uh, Vegard Stornes, uh, 100 NOK Super Chat. I'm not, do you know uh, what that currency I, I is? I really have no idea what that is, but... Do you have your phone on you? I, uh, we I, might... <laughs> my phone's like 1% battery, okay. but I might be able to look it up. Well, yeah, thank you so much for the 100 uh, NOK. That's, that's super cool. Thank you so much. Um, what are, what's your opinion on the new Burton Step-On system? Would you recommend it for a rookie, and what kind of board would you recommend as an all-mountain use? Actually, so the uh, fan that we ran into uh, the other day, he was uh, just bought the Burton Step-Ons and he was absolutely loving them. He was saying that when he gets off the chair, he just rides off to the side, clicks in and just goes. So he was, he was telling us that he was absolutely loving them. Um, I've tried to get a pair here in Worcester. We haven't, they're all sold out, but hopefully we get some in town soon. And when we do, we're gonna take them up and uh, yeah, really put them to the test. Um, but so far from talking to somebody who owns and wear, rides them, they were really stoked. Yeah. So really, really easy in and out, functional. Um, I've did a, I've done a couple of lap, laps on them, but I, not enough to really give you guys a full review or anything. But you know, they work good. They're quick. They're responsive. So yeah, we'll have to get on them and try them out a little more. Yeah. And that currency is Norwegian Krone. So oh, thank awesome! You, man. Thank you for the 100 Norwegian Krones. And um, yeah, so for an all mountain use board. Um, yeah, just the one that I was riding today is like, you know, I'm trying to find myself like a good all mountain and on sort of TJ's advice and from demoing it today through evolution, the, um, yeah, the T-Rise Pro. Yeah, um, I really like the Arbor Gucci Pro as an all mountain board, um, but we have a video on the channel, top five uh, do it all boards. Um, so that's kind of basically all mountain. So if you want to check that out, that will have uh, five boards for you and, yeah. and women's equivalents too for you. Uh, ladies out there gordo film seven uh ten dollars super chat uh thank thank you gordo uh what uh was up from dallas texas bought uh bought a burton board bindings and boots last monday but i just found out i have hyper hyperthyroidism so i can't go i also want to see kevin tame dog more knuckles all right yeah i'll do i'll do my best to get that tame dog down i'm definitely gonna try more as soon as we just get just enough snow that if I land on my head, I'll be totally fine. But um, we've, we're sort of on a drought here. So, but as soon yeah. as as soon as we get some more snow, you'll see more tame dogs. Um, and man, I hope that your hyperthyroidism gets better. Like, I was, yeah, sorry to hear that, but um, you know, I hope it works out for you and you get to go snowboarding. Yeah, man, me too, dude. And now you know, as soon as you're good to go, you got a fresh setup, so you can look forward to that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Fink Daz, uh, five uh, your Pounds? Pounds? Nope. Five pounds super chat. Awesome. Thank Fink Daz. Advice for tricks and confidence in the park. To be more relaxed on the board. Merry Taco to you. Will you review the Capita Slush Slasher? I uh, will review the Capita Slush Slasher, definitely. That's nice. highly requested as well. And TJ, any advice for tricks and confidence in the park? Uh, get the basics down, get comfortable riding switch, progress slowly. It's my best advice, yeah. Absolutely, I think the same. It's like work on all the fundamentals outside the park. Get your ollies, your nollies, your switch, um, riding with speed, um, and then also just being really confident with your edges that you can, 
you know, slow yourself down and, and be in control when you need to be. And then once you got all those fundamentals down, then you can take it to the park. Yeah. Also, learn some tricks outside first. Butters, 180s, those kinds of things. Uh, Sam Riches, uh, two pounds super chat. Thanks, Sam. Um, love, you, love the vids, guys. Plan to go to Europe this year. Um, yeah, we, we do have a plan. Uh, so a few of the subscribers from the channel are actually helping us um, with, with the, the plans and the accommodation and the flights to Europe and lift tickets as well, so that's huge. Um, and yeah, we're going to uh, St. Anton, Austria at the end of January, as well as Lax, Switzerland. And then the last leg of the trip is Avoriers, France, um, sort of like early February. So if you guys are, if you guys are around there, um, we'll, we'll keep you guys posted. We're also spending a day in London. So if you're in London, um, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna tell you guys our full plan soon. We'll make a video about our, our, our trip, our trip plans. Oh, definitely. And yeah, thank you guys again. Just a quick reminder. Um, yeah, we're doing this until 4.30. We're just hanging out here in Worcester Village in front of Evolution Board Shop. And what else? What else is going on? Yeah, we're just having a good time. Yeah. Had a good day riding today. Later. Yeah, go ahead. If you guys can help us out, uh, give us some likes. It's also a super chat, so if you guys help us out with a super chat, it's a good way to help the channel and then also get your question guaranteed to be answered. And we're going to answer as many, as many questions as we can. As always. Uh, Crunk Jack, fifty dollars super chat. Thank you so much. What? Um, second, your second donation yeah. today, man. That's amazing. Dude, thank you. That's incredible. That's yeah. It's insane. He says, so generous. Put this towards a Euro trip. Oh, definitely, yeah, so definitely will. Right. Yeah, that's huge. Thank, thank you, man. Seriously. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. You know, like yeah, we're just trying to put it the best possible content for you guys, and it does. There's a lot of equipment and stuff that goes into it, so all of, all of this definitely helps. Oh snap. Oh, we got some we got some loud machinery rolling through. Yeah, it'll be gone in a minute. Sorry guys. But yeah, thanks Crunk L Jack. That's huge. Um, uh oh. You wanna do this one, TJ? The that uh Kyle? Yeah. Uh, so Kyle Hampsey asks, hey TJ, what do you think of flow bindings? Um, so a goal of mine this year is to get on flow bindings and do a full comprehensive review for you guys. Um, I, I think it'd be sick if maybe like Kevin and I could both get on them somehow. Um, I think if you're the type of rider that's looking for that convenience, you know, maybe you ride with skiers or you just don't really want to take that time to be bending over, um, it's a great option. Uh, my, my one thing that I've heard about them um, from just, you know, working at shops is uh, make sure you really get them dialed and adjusted properly for your boot before you get on the hill. And as long as it's adjusted, it should be pretty solid. Um, but it's not as easy to like uh, loan the bindings out to friends or like swap a board with friends for because of that. Okay, nice. Uh, Real H for Amble for Ramble. Harambe. Uh, <laughs> oh, Real Harambe. It says, hey Kevin and TJ, love your content. Are you a snowboard instructor? How did you get started? Uh, was the school hard? Uh, so TJ isn't, I used to be. Um, it wasn't hard, uh, you kind of like go through it in levels. So the first level, uh, I guess it was difficult because uh, it, everything was new to me. Um, but yeah, I think if you want to be a snowboard instructor, it's uh, pretty crazy. You can, if you put in some time, uh, put in some work, you can definitely get there. But I don't have time to teach anymore because I'm doing these videos full Every time. Day. Yeah. I just saw someone ask, how do I like the flight decks? Absolutely love them. Uh, my first time ever riding Oakley Prism goggles, and uh, it was incredible. Um, honestly, when the really, really low light, I was still having uh, trouble seeing with these, but it was just super flat. But we, there was a few patches when the, the sun kind of came through, and it just looked incredible. Um, I like to describe this whole color optimization stuff, especially with these prisms, is like, uh, 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 video footage uh, after co uh, color grading, but in real life. That's kind of my opinion about it. Awesome. Um, oh, shout out to No Bad Day UK, Chris Wells. Thanks for joining us. And Chris Wells says, also a load of new boards. TJ, have you tried the Ambition as yet? 
Not as of yet, but I actually do have the ambition with me on this trip. I brought it up. Thank you guys so much for sending that out. So we got some nice jumps up here. Just gonna wait for another good park day and uh, gonna have a comprehensive review on the ambition coming out for you guys, as well as a promo code. <laughs> nice. Uh, Kay Jones, what do you think about Rome snowboards? Um, actually, was trying to get in touch with Rome to get some snowboards on the channel. Um, haven't been able to make any progress yet, but hopefully sometime soon we'll get some Rome boat boards out here and would love to, yeah, do some riding. If you guys nobody, and know anybody at Rome, uh, send them an email. Tell them to uh, send us out a board so we can give you guys some Rome, Rome feedback. Yeah, one thing you guys can do if you want to see something on the channel from a company like Review Wise, just blow that company up, hit them up, <laughs> yeah. name drop us, and you know, maybe, maybe that'll get them to send it out. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, so Thomas Nagy, uh, five euro super chat. Thanks, Thomas. Hi guys, love your work. What do you think of the combination of Capita Kazu uh, Kokubo Pro 2018 154 Burton Ion and Burton Genesis? Can I take this one? Yeah, go for it. It sounds good to me, but. So I, I think the Kokubo is sick. I mean, if you guys have seen any of his riding, it's uh, he's really aggressive, incredible rider, super stylish. Um, so I'm, the board's sick. Um, I will say though, that um, unless you've already, you already have those bindings, um, I don't like to pair Burton Reflex bindings with the traditional insert boards. If you put it on a channel system with the EST, then that's like the ultimate, um, but obviously the, the Capita is gonna have the insert pack. So um, I would recommend Union if you're looking for something kind of comparable to the Genesis, um, I would check out the Falcor. That's gonna be the most aggressive Union. Um, the reason I don't recommend the Reflex from Burton on those boards is because it limits your adjustability. Um, you can have to go to the next hole over side to side. You don't get any micro adjustability between holes. Other than that though, it's a really great binding. Awesome. And that board looks like a lot of fun, too. Yeah, that board looks sick. I, really, <laughs> I actually was trying to demo it this morning, but they didn't have one available. And, just, and the Burton Ions, those are a good pick, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Kevin's wearing those right now. I am, yeah. Uh, Isaac Jordan, $5 super chat from uh, Australia. Thanks, Isaac. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Mavic Pro for snowboarding? I'm thinking of getting one to film snowboarding, kite surfing, and kiteboarding. Um, yeah, they're, they're very, very cool, lots of fun. Um, yeah, it t really takes the filmmaking to a n next level. We haven't used mine yet uh, this year because I, I broke it a few months ago. Uh, but, but as soon as I get it fixed, I'll get it out. Um, it can be difficult to film at, with at snowboard resorts because y they usually don't let you. Um, it's typically against the rules, but maybe check with your local resort or like talk to um, somebody there, like some kind of somebody with uh, in charge and yeah. ask them maybe if you can do some filming. Or if you can take it sort of to an out back, you know, out of bounds area and film with it there, um, that's possible. But sometimes even in parks, uh, it's illegal. So just uh, look into it a little bit and see if you can film it with it in your area. And then if you can, then yeah, it's incredible. Get some really cool footage. Absolutely, yeah. Drone Te sick. Yeah, TJ has been filming a bunch with his. Yeah, I, I got I got the Mavic Pro as well. The biggest thing I would say, you know, just. Learn the rules, make sure you're not breaking the law, and uh, yeah, typically you can't fly it on ski resorts, which is a bummer, but if you're doing backcountry stuff, then for sure, yeah. you're super cool. Uh, Jackson Pyle, $5 super chat, thanks Jackson. Uh, he says, what's up Kevin and TJ, can you recommend a good overall lens for low light days to blur bluebird days? Hmm. Um, check out some of the transition lenses. Um, That's what I was going to say too, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Dragon and, and Sandbox both do transition lenses. You can give those a try. Um, yeah, uh, what's the Dragon one called? Um, so they do transitions on the X1 and the NFX2. Um, I think they probably do it on the NFX as well, but I know for sure the NFX2 and the X1. So that's like same as the glasses, you know, it changes from low light to high light based on the, the conditions. So that's probably the best. Um, but yeah, otherwise, you know, just have a low light and a highlight lens you can, that you can swap out. Yeah, it's 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 tough to have a do everything one lens because you're kind of making a compromise both ways. So if you if you can afford it or find the an affordable pair, it's like having two lenses. I think is the way to go. 
Um, in the video we uploaded this morning, I had two lenses with me. The weather changed dramatically from morning to like the afternoon. So I did swap it out and you know, it was perfect in the morning, terrible in the afternoon. So then swapped it out and then was just made it, you know, perfect again. So try to get a second lens. Yeah. Also, uh, shout out, we got 182 likes. Thanks, guys. If we can get up over 200, that would be sick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Charlie Klazer, $2 super chat. Thanks, Charlie. My, my toe strap doesn't fit around my toe. Is that okay? Hmm. Um, no, but you can probably adjust it. Like, uh, most toe straps are adjustable. So today, I was on a uh, pair of now bindings for the first time, was sort of customizing them all day long as I was getting used to them. Um, so yeah, do the, just uh, just adjust them if you can. Yeah, I think, um, you know, I, I hope that, you know, you still have some room to adjust it. Otherwise, um, you know, it might be an indication the binding is too small, which is hopefully not the case. But uh, yeah, you definitely want to get that toe strap nice and secure around the toe. Uh, another super chat from NGen, um, 500 uh, SEK Super Chat. All right, I'm gonna look that up. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> These are some really cool currencies we're getting through here. Uh, so thank you so much, and Jen, no question or comment, just the donation. Yeah, thank you so much. We're gonna really appreciate it. And if anybody knows what an SEK is, uh, Aaron Conley, two dollar super chat. Will you ever come to Snowshoe, West Virginia? Huh. Have you ever been to Snowshoe, West Virginia? I have. Oh man, Snowshoe. Um, yeah, so when I uh, lived in North Carolina uh, on the snowboard team, we traveled up to Snowshoe quite a bit. And honestly, just personally, um, I was able to make a couple trips up there with friends and family. As far as uh, like the southeast kind of goes, uh, Snowshoe is rad. It actually kind of almost has a western feel to it. Oh, sick. Yeah, it's a really cool resort. Oh, and the lodge is at the top of the mountain. Then you ride down and take the chairlift back up to the village, which is kind of unique too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, Ishmael uh, Gors Gors Gorski, Gorski? Uh, $5 super chat. Thanks, Ishmael. Thanks, man. Uh, slash happy place. You recommend as an all mountain board, uh, board kind, uh, habe, same ride style as you, TJ, and I like riding in trees and hard stuff. Uh, yeah, this, the happy place. We actually have a review on the channel on it if you want to check that out. Um, I definitely. It's definitely a freestyle board, um, so it's not going to be super stable or, or too aggressive. It's very pressable and fun in the park, you know, whether you're hitting rails or jumps, um, but it's it's not that aggressive. So definitely consider that. Um, we got a, a video and written review for you, so check that out. And that currency was Swedish krone, so another another krone. Wow, thanks. Yeah, shout out. Yeah, thanks. 500 Swedish krones. Thanks, and Jen. Thank you. Um, Aaron Jewell. $5 super chat. Thanks, Aaron. Uh, TJ, I DM you on Instagram, hoping to get that lap with you at A Basin on January 3rd. Oh, <laughs> what's up? Um, I got scared there for a second. Somebody, it was like right in front of your face. Somebody threw their hand in front of my face, invading my personal space. Um, TJ, I have an idea for the channel. Let me know if you're interested. Ooh, very cool. Oh, ah, yeah. Well, I will definitely keep an eye out for your DM um, after the. My phone's almost dead, so when we get back to the house and it's charged up, I'll, uh, I'll hit you back, man. Um, was there another part to that question? Uh, I just DM'd. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hopefully we can ride on a base, man. That'd be sick. I'm down. Yeah, January 3rd. Hope you guys get some snow. Yeah, we'll get you in a video, man. Ooh-wee. Uh, yeah, thanks, guys, for getting us up over 200 likes. Let's see if we can get to 300. Also, share this video around. If any friends or family looking to get into snowboarding, if they have any questions, and yeah, it's awesome. Uh, just awesome hanging out with you guys. And um, yeah, let's get into some more questions. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I'm yeah. not a vegan. I, I don't know who asked that. I just saw it. No. All right. Um, I try to eat vegetarian meals when I can, but I'll get there, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. And yeah, guys, we're in front of the Evolution Whistler store. If you're in Whistler, if you want to come hang out, come say hi. Yeah, jump on the live stream with us. Yeah. and. Uh, yeah, Evolution hooked us up with demo boards today, so very cool. Check Evolution on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, just Evolution Whistler and you'll, you'll find them. Our buddy Henry also, he's the one that hooked us up. Ooh wee It's getting cold out here, guys. It is. Um, Alex, Alex uh, Penklis, have you guys hit up Japan? 
no, but we've been talking about <laughs> it. <laughs> we really want to do that. Yeah, we're trying to get out there. I'm um, trying to figure out, you know, what the best way to do it is without, um, you know, it's, it's, it's expensive to get out there. So, but we're trying to figure it out. Yeah, we've, uh, we were talking about Japan all day. I think we watched like a POW video in Japan this morning, yeah. kind of like getting us amped up. And um, uh, it's so tempting to uh, just jump on a flight. But yeah, it's, it's expensive. But if we can somehow make it work, that would be, that would be all time. How do you guys feel about the new worldwide weapon? Um, so that? I another highly highly I should have a list of the most requested boards We got the slush slasher the worldwide weapon. There was another one someone requested um, I haven't tried that board since about 2010, so I'm sure it's probably changed since then um, But from what I remember it was a really fun freestyle board um, I'll have to you'll just have to wait for the review man. It'll be coming. I should have access to k2. I think back home uh, That's a cool question from CT army uh, tips on late 180 um, so for myself, if I'm doing a late 180, what I'm thinking about is really like twisting the 180. So it's almost like you get your upper body in position so that, you know, you've got the tw twist like loaded um, so that when you're up in the air, you're just kind of like holding it and waiting. And then as you know that the landing's coming, then you twist your hips and your board underneath you to finish the 180 off. Yep. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. You know, you're counter rotating the lower half of your body. Your shoulders are already starting to do the spin. Um, so yeah, it's all about that shifty, that tweak. And Bilbert Johnson, tips on cliff drops. Kevin's the man uh, with cliff <laughs> drops. Like last year, he was doing these crazy powder drops, just stomping them, and I was tomahawking all over the place. <laughs> yeah, what are the tips? Uh, so cliff drops, like a cliff drop into powder, I would say like, first off, you wanna spot your landing, so know what the landing's gonna be like, that there's enough snow. Um, second, um, give yourself enough space back from the edge so that you can get your board pointed straight and flat. So even if you're at the front of it, kind of like walk back three or four or five steps so that you can point your board straight and flat for a second. And then yeah, in the air, just suck up your knees, look at the landing, and then get ready to land a little bit uh, back on your tail. And a, a very common problem is that people try to scrub all their speed at the start, so a big heel stop but if you do that then you end up like sliding out on your heels so land straight and then do like a half of a heel turn to scrub some speed speed and then a half a toe turn to scrub the rest oh i saw a good question for you kevin or do we got a super chat if um, you scroll no. up just a bit yeah um, a little bit more that one that kid he was asking a gopro oh so sanja uh andronyuk uh kevin what's your gopro settings awesome videos and I think he just repeated the same question again. Yeah, uh, Sanja, so GoPro settings, um, usually, so I got the GoPro 5 and I usually do linear mode, uh, 1080 at 60 frames a second. 60 frames a second just allows you to like slow down any clips if you wanna do slow motion. Uh, linear because it really makes it sort of, gives it that true to life look. It doesn't distort it with the fisheye. Uh, so that's my favorite. But if I'm filming myself riding, or like recently we've actually been filming it in wide mode, uh, but in wide mode you gotta get super, super close to the person with the GoPro. Yep. Um, so today we were having a lot of fun in wide mode, just like riding and filming super close. Yeah. In the linear mode you can kinda be a little bit further away. Awesome, thanks guys for helping us get to 252 likes as Woo. well. Let's try to get to 300. Thanks guys. Yeah, let's hit that 300. Um, Ishmael uh, Gorski, Gorski, you never answered my question. My size frozen. Huh? Mm, um, I'm uh, not sure. I thought we did answer it, man. Uh, didn't you did, didn't do like a big super chat? Or Could, if you can drop your question again in the comments, I'll keep an eye out for it and uh, yes. see if we can answer it for you. Sorry, man. So, sorry, Ishmael. Thanks for the $2 super chat. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe answer, ask it again and we'll do our best to answer it, man. Yeah, just leave it in the regular comments. We'll keep an eye out for it. Uh, Finley Haywood, uh, five pound super chat. Thanks, Finley. Uh, hey guys, Kevin, did you have any advice on moving to Whistler to become a snowboard instructor? Cheers. Um, yeah, I would say like, the, you know, moving to a ski town is difficult, especially Whistler. It's hard to find a place. It's hard to get a job, um, but you just gotta stick with it. like. My first time coming here, I didn't get hired, and then I had to just go home with my 
with my head, you know, with my head down. But I just, I kept going, I kept like trying to move out here and finally just made it work. Um, you know, first I kind of had some accommodation that wasn't very nice, um, but you just like, you know, you start off with what you can get and then once you're here, you just um, try to find something, something better. The thing in Whistler and most ski towns I think is that there's tons of jobs, but it's just hard to find a place to live. So if you can just get here um, with a bit of money and then, yeah, then you can make it work. Yeah. Whew. Well, it's getting dark out. It's starting to get a little, yeah, the sun goes down so early here. It's wild. Like yeah. the other day, if you saw that video, um, man, I, I can't, I forget the title. We've already made so many videos, but the first video when I was here, uh, there's this epic sunset. That was at like 3.30. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, yeah. Uh, all right, lots of great questions coming through, guys. Thanks. Uh, ONC, favorite trick? Um, I've, I've answered this one a few times, but TJ, what's your favorite trick? Uh, front board, backside 180. Awesome. Yep. And uh, Fink Daz, who's your favorite rider at the moment? Ooh. Uh, my uh, go-to uh, favorite rider for many years has always been Haldor. Um, he's, I've just been following him since he was super young. He's just a super impressive, stylish rider. Um, so yeah, very inspiring. Nice. Actually, yeah, he's a lot of, he's a pretty fun guy to watch ride. He is, he's got crazy yeah. style. He's always doing weird tricks, like invented the lobster flip. Like, yeah, he started that, a bunch of companies, like uh, super rad guy. Hey, what's up? Watching going. Good, man. It's going really good. You wanna jump in for a bit, Henry? Yeah, we got sure, like 20, 20 right. minutes to go. So Henry is gonna help us answer some questions as well. Yeah, okay, if you guys cool. got any gear questions. Yeah, um, you guys wanna come inside? It seems a bit cold out here. I feel pretty good, honestly. Uh, good? Okay. Yeah. I guess I'm in like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we okay, yeah. What, like, yeah, what do we got? All right, uh, so Hem Henry's gonna help us out, guys. Yeah, here, I'll, I'll scoot off the side so uh, here we go. Henry can jump in there. Um, um, have you guys tried out the new GoPro Hero 6? I have not, have you? Oh, wait, I've never, I haven't tried it. Maybe no. I should jump in. Um, <laughs> oh wait, TJ has the GoPro I, 6. I yeah. do, I have the GoPro 6, um, incredible. Um, very similar to the Hero 5, um, I would say quality-wise, except um, you can do 4K at 60 frames per second if you're into filming at 4K, which is cool. Maybe a little bit of an upgraded sensor on it. Um, but honestly, um, it's been really, it's been kind of buggy for me. So I'm gonna try to format the, my uh, memory card in the GoPro and see if that helps with the bug issues. But other okay. than that, it's, it's been awesome. It's been yeah. buggy. The other thing I always try to consider with GoPros as well is because they release one pretty much every year, you can often get like if you're wanting to just get a GoPro, strap it on your helmet and call it a day, then yeah, it's whatever you want to buy. But if you're actually wanting to make films, sometimes it might be more effective to buy two older GoPros so that yeah, you can set up two, have an angle, maybe have your buddy have one kind of deal. Cause yeah. the last few years, like GoPros, like they've re they've increased their stabilization technology really well. Yeah. Uh, the 4K improvements at frame rate is pretty uh, pretty impressive. But I feel like most people aren't going to be shoot. They don't want to deal with 4K footage. You know, like most people don't. Yeah, 4K need is big. It's huge <laughs> files. <laughs> like tips for rails. Yeah. Um, well, I saw a question before too. Uh, I thought this would be a good one for you. What's your favorite run on Whistler or Blackcomb? Oh, are we doing like named runs or just features? Uh, maybe like named run or just like area. Uh, area. I would say so. Like. Seventh Heaven is a dope area, but most people don't know that if you go just around the corner from Seventh, there's some really amazing ex expert terrain like uh, Kuar Extreme. But I think the little brother to Kuar Extreme is Chainsaw Ridge, which sounds intimidating. Yeah, but yeah. If, if you find it lower Chainsaw Ridge, is an excellent place. But the best resource is to look up Brian Finestone's book. Uh, I, uh, they have two. There's one for beginner to intermediate riders for Whistler Blackcomb, all the runs you would never know existed, and then they have advanced to expert for all like the Alpine features and like literally everything in Whistler. I saw another good question there, Henry. Uh, maybe you got this. Tips for front side 360. Do you have any tips? Okay, as someone <laughs> who like, I wish I'm gonna completely like botch if I try to remember which is which. Front side regular is opening up to the mountain, right? Yeah. Yeah, heel side. Okay, um, I've been working on my front side threes a lot. Or the first thing is so you should be spotting your landing behind you. Um, if you spot your landing in front of you, you're probably gonna wash out and just continue rotating on the ground. Um, yep. 
two, uh, you want to have a really good platform to rotate off of in the first place. So when you're airing, you really want to make sure that you're not just like all of a sudden like twisting or doing any weird stuff. Like you want to do that nice hourglass. The, you know how if you look at a jump, there's like that hourglass shape that kind of comes down the landing. You want to follow that and just carve slightly off the, off the jump. And it's just going to float your reel way nicer than if you're trying to like tweak and throw your arms out. Yeah, it's like if you slide it too much, slide the landing, uh, take off too much, you'll slide your landing. So like, yeah, have that solid uh, platform to take off from. Sweet. What was that? Nice, man. So that's a super chat. Henry doesn't know about super chats yet. Uh, all right, so Mac Flow Boards, $10 super chat. Um, come down to Silver Mountain in North Idaho. I got a bunny um, moving to North Idaho. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I can hook you guys up with some snowboarding and uh, flow bindings or flow boarding flow boarding. Okay. What's well, flow boarding? Would love know. to ride with you both big bring Henry too. Awesome. Yeah, yeah Henry you're invited man um, Does that make me insta famous or YouTube famous? Yeah, you're YouTube famous man. <laughs> we'll count it. We'll count it. Uh, count it. So come to Silver Mountain. Oh sick. I North Idaho. Have you ever been to I have you guys been to Idaho I've before? Been I've, to Idaho. I've been to Idaho. I've been to Coeur d'Alene uh, Next to Spokane. I went in the summer though, so I was mostly climbing and mountain biking, but Looks like a pretty cool place. Um, a lot of rolly mountains. Like, see, I haven't been to like any steep mountains in Idaho. Mostly where I was, it was very like big, rolly, less intense uh, elevation change. It was cool. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, MacFlow boarding. Well, maybe send us an email, snowboardprocamp at gmail.com. Maybe we can work out some details for snowboarding in in Idaho. Silver Mountain. At Silver Mountain, yeah. Oftentimes, those Sick. little American resorts are dope for just like. Day trips and stuff. Um, ooh, here's a good shop type question. Irene Zeng, any recommendations for a beginner priced e friendly board? E friendly? Uh, Was that a typo? Any recommendations for a beginner priced friendly board? A uh, beginner priced friendly board. Um, so, my thing about beginner boards is that they're often something that you'll grow out of really quickly. A lot of, that t a lot of the time it means that it's going to be flimsier and have rocker, which is great to learn on. Um, but I'm, I'm of the mindset that if you're really committing to riding over, like if you're only gonna ride like 10 days a year, it might make sense to go with a rocker board, but if you're trying to commit to riding and really invest in something you're gonna use, it might make more sense to look into a, a little, uh, like a camber board with less flex, like a, so it's not super stiff, but camber. Um, and rental shops, or not rental shops, uh, like reuse it centers, thrift stores, if you're trying to go on a budget are great. But uh, even just coming into a shop and seeing what they have, oftentimes there's like after season deals where like you go into spring, they're trying to get rid of their last year's stuff. Uh, we do that all the time. I think we still have some deals from the turkey sale going on. Yeah, so. some like last year model stuff. That's a great option for beginners. And also, um, yeah, it's like your first board, you're probably gonna wreck it a little bit. So don't feel, uh, yeah, like you have to spend a lot of money. People are like complaining about the flashing light behind my head. So I'm gonna. Oh yeah, gonna, that thing is so. I'm gonna annoying. move over one inch so that my head is blocking it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh. Uh, two cents on that too. Uh, my two favorite beginner boards as a rocker option. You got the Arbor Formula coming in at 350. Um, lots of good tech in that, and then the Battalion Fun Kink as a really catch-free camber option, and still pr pretty uh, low price. I think at 400. Yeah, sweet guys. So thank you guys so much for tuning in so far on the super chat. Thanks for all your questions. Um, yeah, if you guys have any more, hit us up. Also, let's help us get to over 300 likes. Right now, we're at 273. We're so close. And we're hanging out in front of Evolution Shop. We're hanging out with Henry. How's it going? Yeah, TJ's here too. We just came down the mountain, that's why we're still- I actually gotta pop inside. I'm getting cold yeah. out here. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Henry. Thanks for joining us, man. He's popping back into the shop. And um, yeah, it's chilly out here. But uh, yeah, that. thank you guys for joining us. That light again. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna hide my <laughs> hide that light behind my head. Um, there's one more thing I was gonna say. Um, yeah, we're here for about 10 minutes, guys. 10 more minutes. So, so thank you guys for for joining us. Also for yeah everyone, if you want to tune into our second uh, Patreon uh, live chat, we're gonna do it on Patreon. I think a little bit later because it's we're just uh, trying to cram too much in. Uh, what time should we do the Patreon live chat? Uh, so this is going to be done at 4.30. I don't know, you want to say like... 4.30, 5.30, 6. Let's do it at 6. Okay. 
Will that be enough time? Yeah, that'll be enough time to grab some food. 6.30, yeah. So we're gonna grab some food after this, and then we're gonna do a Patreon live chat at 6.30. So if you got Pacific time. So if you guys wanna join us on Patreon, check us out, snowboardprocamp.com forward slash Patreon. All right. Patreon.com forward slash snowboardprocamp. There you go. <laughs> um, oh yeah, it's getting chilly. It is, we're almost there. Gets warm up for a sec. Jamie McCaffrey, oh, do you remember a, your first snowboard, TJ? I do, I still have it, man. <laughs> uh, I'm never gonna let that thing go. So my first snowboard, my grandfather uh, bought for me when I was 12, uh, which was super rad. It was the Option Signature 149. Option doesn't make snowboards anymore, so yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, they were the Canadian company. Oh, were they? I didn't know that. I bought it out of CCS back before the internet when they used to mail out those magazines to your house. Right. Uh, Fink Daz, how long does editing your footage take each day? Um, so I've been working on like getting this process like super fast because it takes up so, so much of my life editing videos. But I think now I can edit the video in about an hour. Um, before that, you got to transfer all the footage from the cameras to your computer. That's maybe 20 minutes. Um, and then after that, there's a bit of like post stuff you gotta do so another like a half an hour to an hour so I think it's like a two and a half hour process of like creating a video and then getting it up and Kevin's really good at it for me um, you know now I've I've kind of caught on to this uh, new way of filming that really speeds up the process still takes me two and a half three hours to edit most of the time um, but it used to take me like six seven hours which is just crazy wow yeah, yeah. it's just practice 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 yeah, and I think I saw that question from Ishmael. The, he said we missed his super chat. If you want to scroll up, um, I would reach, but I'd cover the camera. A little for, it was a long one. There it is. Go oh. for it. Oh, yeah, I did answer this for you, man. What do you think of the Slash Happy Place as an all-mountain board? Um, I, I would not recommend it as an all-mountain board. It's a freestyle board. It's pretty soft, playful, um, definitely on the softer side of medium. Um, you know, if you're looking for something more all mountainy, uh, as I, I would check out the top five do it all snowboards video. Um, yeah, Capita DOA, Never Summer Prototype 2, Arboraguchi Pro, uh, Lobster Sender, Battalion, whatever, all those boards are gonna be way more suitable for that style of riding for you. Awesome, yeah, that was yeah. a good answer. Hope that helps you out, man. Um, we also got a few questions from people saying, um, you know, what are the conditions like here in Whistler? They're changing all the time. Yesterday, it was like five degrees and sunny on the top, really warm, we were in our hoodies. Today, it was cold and icy and firm and, and also cloudy. So it was a perfect day. We brought up some all mountain boards, um, got them from the demo here at, at uh, Evolution. So it worked out really well. So trying to plan our days around that. But in a couple of days, we're actually getting some more snow. So we may have like a pow day coming up like Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. Um, I saw someone ask, Capita DOA with Genesis Bindings, uh, someone asked a really similar question earlier if you want to scroll back after this is over. Um, I would recommend the Union Falcor over the Genesis for that particular snowboard. Um, if you want to know the reason why, you'll have to just scroll back and, and you'll have the full answer. Uh, Vince Powell Newman, Oakley uh, Airbrake XL versus Oakley Flight Deck, which do you prefer better? Um, yeah, so I prefer the Oakley Flight Decks. I found that the air brake just like, it's almost like they were just a little bit too big, the, the bubble, and I could see like the frame a little bit more because they were further away from my, from my face. Mm. Uh, where the, the flight decks, they're just like a bit more comfortable around your face, a bit more streamlined. And um, yeah, those, I prefer the flight decks over the air brake. Um, and yeah, shout out to Sporter X for sending out those goggles. They've hooked us up. Um, if you guys need a pair of goggles, check out Sporter X. They're doing 10% uh, off for Snowboard Pro Camp campers. Yeah, if you use a pr uh, promo code PROCAMP10. PROCAMP10, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so the dungeons that TJ has right now are the flight decks. Yeah, I, this is my first time trying them out. I'm um, super stoked on them. Yeah, and the lens I think is like a prism jade or something. Yeah, it's like the rose base with the prism or jade, yeah. Uh, here's a good uh, question from Tyler Middlebrook. Tips for backboard 270 out. Yeah, so that is actually, um, I am much 
I feel like it's much more natural for me personally to go front lip 270 out. Um, but that's actually a trick that I've been working on this year. So I've, I've actually got it regular and switch now, which I'm really stoked on, at least on like fairly easy features. Um, but yeah, the biggest thing is as soon as you hop on the rail, start rotating your shoulders. It's all about getting your shoulders to rotate as you're sliding on the rail so that when you pop out, you can uh, rotate the lower half of your body that 270. Uh, it just takes some practice, man, but you got it. Nice. Um, all right, so I good. Uh, Mr. C, thanks for joining. I always see you uh, commenting. You, you're, uh, you're the guy that gave us a heads up on that flashing light behind our head. So, and yeah. Mr. C says TJ looking lit. What's All that right. supposed to mean? I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, somebody commented about gloves. Yeah, my hands are freezing. Uh, Nadine, Nadine P. Try, guys, how about an earlier Patreon chat someday? It's past one in the morning here. Yeah, sorry, Nadine, we'll try our best. That's a good idea. We'll do like a, an earlier day Patreon one day for sure for everyone like in the UK. Yeah, we were just talking about that, like how we could uh, maybe yeah, do a live stream at a better time for European people. And Mike Terran, uh, hello from Tucson, Arizona. What's up, Tucson, Arizona? Um, uh, Zeltro HD tips for riding switch. Uh, you just got to do it, man. Um, spend, um, you know, half your day riding switch or a couple runs every day or an entire day if you can. And yeah, start off easy. Take it to an easy slope. You can even go back to the beginner slopes and just really focus on one turn at a time. Every time you do that switch turn, controlling your speed and then getting into that next turn. We'll open up tons of tricks and fun stuff for you learning uh, Switch. Absolutely, it's a critical skill to have. Do you want to read that one, man? Yeah, so Aaron Conley, thank you for the $2 super chat, man. Um, will you review the DC Focus snowboard? Uh, I, so I haven't actually ever ridden a DC board since the very first year they made boards. I actually bought the PBJ. Um, their boards have improved tons since then. Um, so yeah, the Focus is one I would definitely like to get on. I believe that's a little bit more of an entry-level board. So yeah, definitely a good one for you guys. I'll nice. try it out this year if I can. All right, guys, we're going to do a couple more questions. Then we got to run. We got videos to make. We got more Patreon uh, live chats to do. <laughs> and we also got to grab some food. So we'll do like a couple more questions. Um, you want to stand up for a second? Sure. Yeah, we're just going to stand up. Yeah. We'll show you guys where we're at. So really quick, so we're in front of Evolution here. Um, we've got sort of in the background over there, that's kind of like one of the, you know, sort of centers of Whistler. Um, over here, over my shoulder is the Whistler Conference Center and the climbing gym. So lots of, oh, there's like good lighting right here, actually. Oh, yeah? If you want to come in, maybe. This side? Yeah, there Pop you go. Over here? All right. Yeah, so let's do a couple more questions and we got ahead, guys. <laughs> oh, it's intense. <laughs> 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 He's in it now. <laughs> All right, here's a good uh, here's a good question. Tanner, tips for learning butters and presses. Let's get yeah. that flashing light out of there. Oh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, we're good. Um, yeah, I mean, I would say uh, practice, you know, to feel out the flex on your board on flat ground, like not moving, um, and then start going really slow. Um, and then kind of progress from there. But I think it all starts with feeling out the flex of your board and getting used to balancing over the tip and tail. Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. So I think we got, oh, I just saw that Doug, Doug joined the super chat. What's up, Doug? Doug. You came in, man. Hey. Mojo's. <laughs> yeah, if you hit Doug's a legend on the channel, vote for Doug. Thanks for watching, man. Um, yeah, Crunk L Jack, $10 super chat. Thanks, Crunk L Jack. Thanks, man. Um, have a drink on me, he says. Yeah, definitely. Right. Uh, that's going to get us a couple kombuchas. So thanks, man. Yeah, I yeah. really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah. Man, we dude, can't. Yeah, dude, you've been like super chatting away today. Thank you yeah, so much, man. Really like, appreciate seriously. it. Yeah. Thank you. So, yeah, thank you guys all for tuning in. Thanks for all the super chats. Um, you guys are really helping us to build the channel, keep this rolling, keep the videos coming out. And yeah, super fun hanging out with you guys every Friday here. Um, thanks, TJ, for coming to Whistler all the way from Colorado. Absolutely. He Glad made, to be here. He made the trek. If you guys are thinking about making a trip, definitely come out to Whistler. It's so cool. So much fun out here. Um, and a quick shout out too, to uh, Evolution Whistler helping us out with uh, the boards today. Very cool. Yeah. And yeah, awesome day, guys. So we'll send it off there. 
Um, yeah, hope you guys are getting some snow where you are. Have fun at riding out there. And um, yeah, t uh, look out. So we're going to have a vlog up it's probably tomorrow morning. And then TJ's also got another board review. A couple yeah, board reviews I got coming. a board review that's going to go live tonight. And then we'll have another one tomorrow. And uh, live stream again on Monday. Yes. Awesome. So lots to come. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you, uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah. See you guys. See you guys. Thanks for joining us.